It's been a long and winding road. Six survivors have been profiled and only two are left waiting for all their secrets to be WikiLeaked. Leaving it up to y'all, between Lewis and Rochelle, the answer was loud and clear. And I can spell out the name for you, R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That spells Lewis. Let's have a chat about the positively over positive, gun positive slinging, red tie positive wearing, everyday positive man himself. This week, it's Survivor Profile, Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> 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 For the seventh time, I've got to say this. This comes from the official Left 4 Dead website. Lewis's age is unknown, and so is his hometown. Lewis had been working up the courage to quit his job as junior systems analyst at his company's IT department when a virus showed up and downsized the world. Now Lewis has a new set of goals, live long enough to succeed, and a new set of tools, guns, sharp objects, to help him achieve them. With any luck, he'll figure out how the new management operates before they get a chance to murder him. <laughs> Fucking Valve and the way they write this stuff sometimes. So, let's set the mood of Lewis's life. And also, you may notice the positive counter in the top right. That's gonna tick every time I say positive. That's because I have to stress how positive Lewis is. Now, if you've ever seen my favorite movie ever, Shaun of the Dead, you can run a lot of similarities with Lewis and Shaun. Shaun and Lewis both working a nine to five job they were overqualified for, living paycheck to paycheck, almost like living as a zombie, both wearing plain white dress shirts with a red tie, and of course, they both have red on them. You got red on you. You've got red on you. And developed symptoms similar to those displayed red by on you. their attackers. If you know someone. Oh, you got red on you. Yeah. They are both also avid gamers. Proof of Lewis's gaming nature is seen by his reference to Counter Strike, wanting an Xbox on the new island, and the Team Fortress heavy figurine on his desk. And also, spoiler alert, Sean and his buddy Ed are both avid gamers from start to finish of the movie, even if one of them becomes a zombie. Ed! <laughs> But what separates Sean and Lewis is their time outside of their medial jobs. While Sean spends his free time taking Liz to bars, drinking himself into a coma with Ed, and promising to visit his mom Barbara, Lewis will go and practice at the gun range. Lewis has an undergraduate degree and an MBA, and also is slightly fluent in Japanese, so he may be a weeb. Lewis's co-workers would often poke fun at Lewis for his frequent trips to the gun range, but considering the usefulness of knowing a firearm in his current situation and where his co-workers are now, I'm sure Lewis doesn't feel ashamed or remorseful at all for his decisions. Lewis was first introduced into the green flu epidemic through word of mouth, co-workers expressing their concern of how fast the infection was spreading, but Lewis passed off the hysteria as another media overreaction. You may want to call it. Two days after the first infection, Lewis's pacifism fell through after going to the bathroom and killing one of his turned co-workers, witnessing the rest of his office and seeing society collapsing before him in a scene reminiscent of Fight Club. Now, of all eight playable survivors, it's easy to point out who is the most positive of them all. Looking at his past, though, Lewis's optimism doesn't add up. Positively taking his job seriously and weighing every outcome, whether it be openly positive or negative, Lewis wanted to get the job done. After the flu painted the town green, Lewis adopted this non-stop smiley positive behavior. Now, why would a person of normal capacity suddenly turn to be a 100% positive optimist during a zombie apocalypse? Let's dig into that. Lewis may be displaying the psychological defense known as reaction formation, whereby an individual behaves in a way that is the direct opposite of how they feel, so his positive demeanor is to outweigh all the negative feelings he has brewing in his head. Now how did the living around him fare with the constant ray of positive sunshine? Let's dig into the first group's relationships with Lewis. The trailer for the first Left 4 Dead pretty much sums up how Bill and Lewis are with each other. We made it! I can't believe we made it! Son, we just crossed the street. Let's not throw a party till we're out of the city. 
Lewis will also take Bill's words of despair and disgust and turn them around, such as when he declares that they have to climb numerous flights of stairs and we all know how bad his knee is. Lewis will say it's good cardio. Lewis did hold knowledge on making pipe bombs and taught Bill about the creation process behind our favorite explosive. Bill and Lewis don't have much interaction outside of that, but will defend each other tooth and nail as their own. In the passing, Lewis will even kill a tank in Bill's name. That is for Bill. Now, if you watch my survivor profile on Francis, you would remember the duality of Francis and Lewis. Francis the negative energy and Lewis the positive energy. Francis will express his grievance with so many happy thoughts coming from Lewis and will refer to him as Mr. Positive. Lewis responds with even more positive remarks. God, I'm tired of saying positive, but Lewis will also show the least trust with Francis on some matters. Despite all this, Lewis still considers Francis a friend and will do anything to save him. Francis holds the same regard, but still hates him at the same time, dreaming of Lewis on a separate island and whatnot. Lewis and Zoe hardly ever talk except to compliment and help each other, and Zoe seems to be the only one that welcomes Lewis's positive attitude. When the second group of survivors arrive in the passing, Zoe will continue to stress that their group has a wounded man, showing concern for Lewis's injuries. Speaking of the second group of survivors, Lewis is much like Coach in the regard that he doesn't have much interaction with them outside of a few interesting exchanges. Don't worry, Lewis, you'll get you a girl someday. Lewis finally found a positive outlet in the positive outlooks in both Coach and Ellis. He will wish them the best on their travels to New Orleans and even reassures Ellis that he will definitely make it to Nolens. Now, on account of Nick's prickly and dismissive attitude, Nick is the only survivor to earn Lewis's abiding dislike like even with Lewis's positive view of other people. Lewis does not wish Nick luck at the end of the passing. We're the people with the car that need to get over the bridge. You're right, Francis. He's not friendly. I think Bill would have shot him by now. Oh, yeah. Bill definitely would have shot him. Well, good. Glad that's cleared up. What now? Just go fill up the generator and we'll lower the bridge even if you are acting like that. Nevertheless, during the finale, Lewis will provide Nick with covering fire during the battle. Sometimes upon finishing the finale, Lewis may wish everyone else good luck by their names and refer to Nick as, what's his name? Lewis and Rochelle have an instantaneously warm relationship and show a positive interaction. When she sees him wounded, she takes his health into consideration and it is perhaps Lewis's predicament that most acutely sparks her invitation to the trio to join them on their trip to New Orleans. Now for some positive trivia on Lewis. I brought up Lewis's leg injury a few times. In case you didn't know, Lewis acquired this positively rash injury upon opening a boat of a modded server's 30 witches and was slashed by one of the huge harem. Extra <laughs> Left 4 Dead positively loves movie references and Lewis's quote involving I ain't got time to bleed. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Huh. Okay. Lewis is also ambidextrous. How do I know that? Well, for one thing, Google it. But another is that he holds his gun in his right hand when he plays him, but in some of the movie posters, holds gun in his left hand and even both his hands in Crash Course. Now, earlier I said Lewis was mildly proficient in the Japanese language, but I had no reference of him doing so or speaking it in game. Well, that's just a biography thing made by Valve, and it's a direct reference to his voice actor, Earl Alexander, who some have reported as saying that he intends to learn learn Japanese in preparation for moving to Japan someday. In the beta version of the game, Lewis, like Francis, was much different. And much like Francis and Zoe's relationship, Lewis was originally going to have a hateful relationship with Bill. This and the relationship were canned for a less distracting experience for the player. I'm positive. And the last bit of positively positive trivia, Lewis was supposed to have more backstory of what happened with him before meeting up with the survivors. The cut lines tell us that Lewis was holding out with other people before meeting the other survivors. Judging by his line, folks I was with before you three wouldn't keep moving, figured they could wait it out, they couldn't. It's because of this that they are likely dead or infected. Now for the power round! So that's it for the positive outlook into the positive survivor and his positive aspect on the positive life that is not a positive zombie outbreak. Am I positive? Are you positive? Am I saying positive enough? I'm not <laughs> really positive. <laughs> I'm choking on the positive, but what I am positive about is you letting me know if I missed out on anything and for you to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a hashtag, 
positive as fuck in the comments. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and Facebook. We all know who is up next on the chopping block, and it's been a long wait coming for this specific person. Tune in next week for their grand debut, and please keep my channel afloat by tuning into my live streams and donating to the Super Chat, donating to my Patreon, and buying some Wild WoW Such Gaming merchandise on teespring.com. And don't forget, stay positive, everyone, and until next time, stay positively positive on the positive spectrum of positive WoW. How long is that counter? Oh, Jesus Christ. You could say that's positive. <laughs> Damn, did you have to hit me that hard? We are unstoppable. That's why we should call ourselves the unstoppable. Nothing can stop us. Do you hear me? Nothing can stop us.